Vocal comping is one of the most used techniques when it comes to vocal recording in the music industry today. Vocal comping is essentially taking multiple vocal takes of one specific part in a song and then taking the best parts in each vocal take and compiling it into one final vocal take. You with me? <laughs> if you're not, don't worry. We're going to dive into what vocal comping is, the best way to use it in FL Studio. And the best part is we're going to be doing this all from scratch. So I do have an example here for you. In this example, I took 11 vocal takes, and then you can see at the bottom here, it's the final comp of the best parts of each vocal take recorded. So let's go ahead and take a listen to an example. This is Chicago Freestyle by Giveon and Drake. This is just a cover that I did, and I did make a vocal preset for this. So my voice is gonna sound a lot deeper in this song. If you are interested in checking this vocal preset out, the link is in the description. So let's go ahead and listen to the final Final vocal take here. It's too early, baby, won't you meet me by the beat? It's too early, maybe later you can show me things. You know what it is whenever I visit. Windy City, she blow me kisses, nah. 30 degrees, it's way too cold, so hold me tight. So as you can see, each cut is its own separate vocal take. And when compiled together, it sounds smooth, right? It sounds like that was all one vocal take, but as you can see, <laughs> it was multiple vocal takes compiled into one ultimate vocal take. So what I'll do is I will just close up this record track and we'll go ahead and create a new record track so you guys can follow along. I'll go ahead and mute this and we'll bring up two brand new record files and I'll just use the same piano melody that I have just to stay in key. and. I'll I'll just push this back down, back down. We're gonna start by creating a new record track. To do this, you wanna just open up your mixer channel. You can use any insert that you want, but I'm just gonna choose insert five because it's the next open insert in the mixer. We'll start out by renaming this. I usually stick with record for visuals. We'll stick with this brown color here. We'll accept it. So we got a brand new record track. I'll go ahead and copy over these presets. For auto-tune, I use Antares Auto-Tune Pro. I have use low latency selected. That's important when recording vocals. And then we'll copy over my Giveon preset to this new record track. For latency issues, I just wanna turn this off. And the only thing that you also gotta know is I do have the God Particle on my master channel. It essentially just increases the gain so you guys can actually hear what I'm doing. Really good plugin, by the way. <laughs> okay, so I'll dock this to the middle. And what I'll do with this record track so it's easy for you guys to see, I usually right click. For all my record tracks, I right click, dock to the left. What I wanna do now is right click, assign to new audio track. And once it's assigned, it will pop up in your playlist. Once it's in your playlist, you can select your audio input source. In my case, it is going to be input eight. Yes, it is input eight. For tutorial sake, I'm gonna turn this off so you guys can still hear me. I'm gonna make sure that external input only is selected. And then of course the arm or disarm for recording is turned on. And once that is turned on, you're pretty much all set to record. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna get my headphones on, mic check, mic check. For tutorial sake, I'm just gonna do five vocal takes and we'll see if any of those vocal takes are usable. By the way, I am using a Sony C80. It's a really good mic. So definitely check it out. The link is in the description for that as well. Okay, let's record. If it's easier for you, definitely make sure that the metronome is turned on. You gotta press R to record. Yeah. It's too dirty, baby. Won't you meet me by the beat? It's too early, maybe later you can show me things. You know what it is whenever I visit Windy City. She blow me kisses, no. Nah. Thirty degrees, it's way too cold, so hold me tight. Will I see you at the show tonight? Will I see you at the show tonight? Okay, so that was the first take. I think there was some parts that were usable. Once you get that first take down, what you do is you take your mute tool or the letter T on your keyboard. All you do is just mute that vocal take and then you're able to record again. Let's press the record button. It's 2.30, baby, won't you meet me by the beat? It's too early, maybe later you can show me things. 
the more vocal takes, at least for me, the more vocal takes you do, the better you get at that song. So here we can listen back. It's 2.30, baby, won't you meet me by the beam? It's too early, maybe later you can show me things. Ah, I mean, it's okay. We'll find something. But anyway, we'll just keep going. So again, you want to mute that vocal take and then just press R to record. And then we start recording again. Cool. I think that one was like my best take yet, but hopefully you guys get it. The awesome thing about FL Studio 21 is it groups your tracks automatically. Every time you uh, record a vocal, it's going to group everything in that one track. So it's easy to keep track of and organize. So let's say you have as many takes as you want. In my case, I think I'm just gonna stick to these three. What we do now is the editing process in vocal comping. This part can actually take a long time depending on how many vocal takes you have. The easiest way to do this is selecting the mute tool again and enabling the track. And what we're gonna do is just listen back to anything that we like. And if there is something that we like, we'll slice it and move that vocal take down. Let's turn off the metronome. It's 2.30, baby, won't you meet me by the beam? It's too early, maybe later you can show me things. So maybe this part is something I would keep. Early, maybe later you can show me things. If I do want to keep it, what I do is select the slice tool or C on your keyboard. If you hold shift and left click, it'll make a slice there. And we'll do the same in the beginning of this take. And then what we'll do, we'll grab the pencil tool or letter P on your keyboard and we'll take in command or control and left click to highlight that. Now it's hard to see that it's highlighted because I chose red. Dang it. But it is highlighted. <laughs> and what you do is once it's highlighted, you press shift on your keyboard and press the down arrow and move it to a new track. In this case, it's track six. And we'll just call this the final comp. Let's say you're done listening to this top row here and you wanna move on to the second row. You can just mute the whole track if you want, or you can mute just the individual wave files. It's totally your call. In this case, I think I'll just mute that part and we'll just start on this one. Hopefully this is a good take. You know what it is whenever I visit. That was horrible. Let's move on to this one. You know what it is whenever I visit. That one's better. So what we'll do is we'll slice this part, grab our pencil tool, command or control and left click to highlight it, press shift and use the down arrow and we have it set to our final comp track. And so if we listen back, we can just mute both of these record tracks and just listen to our final comp. Early, maybe later, you can show me things. You know what it is whenever I visit. And that's essentially it. You just listen back to every single vocal take that you have and just grab the best parts, move them down, and you're all set to go. If we take a look at our first example that I have here, once you have that all piled up, you can then take it a step farther. If you right click the final comp track in the playlist here, you can scroll down to consolidate tracks and you can either do it from start or from song start. So it's one big complete WAV file. That way it's just a little bit easier to edit in the end for the mixing process. If you guys wanna learn more about advanced recording in FL Studio, be sure to click this video. Until next time guys, have a blessed day. Peace.